Welcome into Hawkins Arena on the campus of Mercer University for some Southern Conference basketball. The Mercer Bears hosting the visiting Sanford Bulldogs. Hello and thanks for joining us. I'm Avery Braxton alongside Dean Keener. Dean, these are two teams on the latter half of the Southern Conference standings, but Sanford just caught one of their three SoCon wins on the road. It's the Mercer Bears waiting to take the floor with the ETSU Buccaneers. Welcome in, I'm Avery Braxton alongside Sybil Blaylock. Sybil, these are two teams looking to reverse their fortunes as far as conference play goes. Yeah, these are really two teams on opposite sides of the momentum spectrum, Frank. You've got Mercer, they've won their last two, and they dropped one against Western Carolina on the road, but Western Carolina, they dropped their last two. All right, let's take a look at some first half highlights. For the Wofford Terriers, Jamari McDavid leading the way with seven points, but all of those were in the first quarter, Sybil. And two big 7-0 runs for Mercer. I think something we've seen from them all year long is they get into long droughts, and they haven't done that today. They've actually forced Western Carolina into some long droughts of their own, and then able to hit that three ball at the end just gave them all the momentum going into the second half. Oh. Kyron Bolden steps onto the floor. That's Brinson. Can't get that one to go. Alvarez pushing to Bender again and throw the hammer down. Magic Bender. It's a nice steal by Kaya Upton. She brings it back. Sheets calling for it. She'll drive, spin, lay up. Good. Micah Sheets with a little trickeration with a spin and the layup. DeAndre Thomas underneath. Can't get it to go and a rebound to Magic Bender. So three opportunities and three misses. And Jeff Gary now for three. Got it. Jeff Gary pulls out the bow and arrow. A new career high for Kamar Robertson, 18 points. He has not missed from the floor, leads all scores, and he's tied this ball game up. And he's really just taken over the second half. He didn't miss in the first half, hasn't missed in the second half here. As you said, career high in points, career high in field goals made with eight. And he's just really, he's just cooking right now. He's doing it from all over the court. We saw him do it at the mid-range. He stepped back, hit a one behind the arc inside and finish him with the end one. Has a chance to put Bears in the lead with this free throw. And gets it to go. 19 for Kamara Robertson. A one point lead for the Bears. And it's been an, over an 8-0 run of the last minute 45. A near four minute scoring drought for the Mox. Banks now with Jeff Gary Garden. Get it back to him, and that one, a nice steal from Kamar Robertson, getting it done all over the floor. Flying around right now, he gives the Bears a turnover. That's really what he's known for, too. He said coming into the year, he wanted to be SoCon Defensive Player of the Year, and that's really where he made his mark last season. It's a great move by Shane Liston. The Bears really starting to feel it now. Inside, outside, an upside down, a three-point lead for Mercer. And it's really started on the defensive end. They had a rough first couple of possessions, giving up offensive rebounds, but they've been able to limit Malachi Smith and the Mox to one shot per possession. And that's how they've gotten themselves back in this game on a 10-0 run. Seven on the shot clock now for the Mox. Malachi Smith broke in ankle and nails the three. Smith giving Kamar Robertson a bit of his own medicine there as he ties the game up at 35. He's got 20. I tell you what, if things continue this way, it is going to be fun watching those two go at it down the stretch. You see them guarding each other on both ends of the floor right now, as those are the hot hands for both teams, and they have been the entirety of this game. Here's Kamar Robertson right there, and a foul called away from basketball. Kai okay, Smith getting a piece of the Ross Cummings screen as he was trying to chase down Kamar Robertson. As we've seen tonight, coming off those screens, he's either taking one dribble, pulling up from the free throw line, or he's going to continue to attack the basket. Ball knocked out of bounds again by the Mox. Bears have 20 on the shot clock. We'll see what Coach Greg Gary draws up as into the game is Jaden Frazier. Out of Pulaski, Virginia, the redshirt freshman. And Mercer will inbound. Ross Cummings for three. Won't go. Rebound to Smith. Long outlet pass. Here comes Caldwell. Drive, and the layup is good off the glass. Nice move from Caldwell. Not a great foul there. I believe it was on Jeff Gary. That was on Ross Cummings, excuse me. 
Not oh. a good foul. If you're going to foul him there under the basket, he had a wide open lane. You want to make sure he does not get that shot off. There you see Lamont Paris trying to encourage his team. That's their first field goal in a while. Minus Malachi Smith's three, and now they've got a quick six points in the last two possessions. A three-point lead for the Mocs now. That might have calmed the nerves as Mercer had stormed back from seven points down. Really, the whole game has been which team is hot right now. Is Mercer going on a 10-0 run? Now Chattanooga on a 6-0 run, and we've seen that pretty much the whole game is a nice little fadeaway there by Jeff Gary. Gary might have made that a little more difficult than it had to be, but he gets it to go. He's been quiet this year scoring as well. We saw him the second half of last season. He had to sit out early on, but he was a really good scoring option for the Bears. That's a tough move there by Banks. Great drive there from Banks, strong to the hoop. Ross Cummings got a hold of that ball, but he was able to muscle it through up and over James Glisson the third. Felipe Hase swings it to Mara Robertson. He'll drive, step back jumper is good. He still hasn't missed. 15 feet, 15 feet, Avery. He is right loving there. the free throw line right now. 21 points for Kamara Robertson. He can't miss. As we said, a shooter, he is getting to his spot. That is his spot right now. So if I'm Chattanooga, I do not let him shoot from the free throw line because that is where he wants to go. And that's where he's comfortable right now. Box up just one. Caldwell off the bank screen. Here's Malachi Smith, step back. And that'll be out of bounds. Ball goes to Mercer, so a great defensive possession there. As he's gotten some offense now from both squads. Mercer, four of their last five. Mox, three of their last three. But a turnover there is the undoing of Chattanooga. It'll be interesting to see, too, if these two teams can find a secondary score. We really haven't seen it. Banks has eight for Chattanooga on the Mercer side. Hase has five, but nobody really else apart from Smith and Kamar Robertson right now have scored. And both those guys are guarding each other, so it be very interesting to see if somebody else on either team can step up and kind of take a little bit of the load off. See what the Bears cook up here. Alvarez driving on Caldwell. Looking for Leon Ayers, the third. Jeff Gary will try a three. Long rebound, Frazier. Maybe if Jeff Gary saw that short fadeaway go in, that might translate here to one behind the arc as Smith attacking one more time. Malachi Smith can't get that one to go get his own rebound. Surprise, a foul wouldn't call there. Leon here's the third, a little wild on the block. Gene Baptiste lines one up and gets it to fall. You know who can light it up? Gene Baptiste. He can be the secondary guy for Chattanooga. Mercer definitely needs to know where he is because he can light it up in a hurry. 16 points per game, and he's shooting almost 40% from behind the arc. Mar Robertson for three. Is he going to miss tonight? I, I don't know. Everything looks good. He's comfortable. He's in rhythm. He's really, he had that one soft one off the rim, but other than that, he's been hitting nothing but net. It seems like every shot. I will not be responsible for the jinx. I'll leave that to you. 43-42 in favor of the Mox. Banks double teamed and can't get it to fall. Tip out of bounds and good effort there from Frazier. It's off Jackson Greco. Back and forth we go. Kamar Robertson versus Malachi Smith. It is a one-point ball game. We'll be back right after this on ESPN.